Hi, I'm Fran, I'm a vet for the PDSA. In this short video, we're going to be looking at the sad subject of euthanasia and making that difficult decision about putting your pet to sleep. It's just breaking my heart. I just couldn't see him suffer anymore and I just knew he wasn't himself. He didn't want to go out. He was just sleeping really all day. And he was still eating, but not, not properly. And I tried everything with the food. Um, so just, I just knew that this time was right. It can be a really difficult decision knowing when's the right time to put your pet to sleep. We as vets will help you and guide you through that time. We are always looking at the pet's quality of life and our focus is on their well-being. When the balance tips to being more bad days than good, not enjoying their walks, not enjoying their food, or you think they're suffering, that's when to make the decision. It varies for each animal um, and we'll personalise it to you and your pet to make it the easiest it can be. We may, may or may not give sedation, um, and that depends on, on how your pet's behaving, um, whether they're stressed or anxious. We may or may not put a catheter in their, their legs um, to inject into, again, depending on your animal. When we inject um, to put your pet to sleep, you can be there, you can not be there, you can have friends and family with you. The most important thing is to be calm and, and make your pet feel at ease. Um, sometimes if it's possible your pet can be on your lap or you can be holding your pet while it happens. Once they are put to sleep, once they've passed away, the, their eyes stay open. Um, that's natural. Um, they sometimes will pee and poo just because everything relaxes. And the most common thing that I always warn owners about is that they twitch. Um, and that can be quite distressing if you're not expecting it. So it's good to know that, that it almost invariably happens. Um, and those twitches can be around the face, the ears, the feet. Um, and it can be that they have little twitches that make them look like they're hiccuping or gasping. And that's once they've passed away. The injection that your pet will receive to put them to sleep is painless, humane, and typically very quick. I have had another pet put to sleep, so I had got a vague idea of what was gonna happen. So I knew that you, know, you could go in the room together and, and stay with the cat if you wanted whilst you're in there. Some people don't wanna do that, but I. I me and my husband did, we stay till, till the very end. It's really important to ask for what you want in a euthanasia consult. If you'd like to stay with your pet and you'd like other people to come in, that's fine. If you want to be alone with them, with the vet, that's fine. And alternatively, if you don't want to stay, that's absolutely fine. Just tell, tell your vet. You can stay with your pet for as long as you like after it's been put to sleep. Um, you know, lots of people need time with their animals to say goodbye. And something else that some people like is to take a little cutting of hair away with them. Um, if you want any of that and your vet doesn't, doesn't offer it, ask. We never mind. Once your pet has been put to sleep and you're ready to go, they will be looked after by the vets until you know what you'd like to do with them. That might be that you take them home and bury them. It might be that they're sent off for cremation with all the other pets um, and they, they, they're scattered in a, a pet crematorium. Um, or if, if you want to have their ashes back, that's an option as well. So you can have them individually cremated um, and you have your own pet's ashes back. Yeah, I, I knew what I wanted to do once Elvis had, Elvis had passed away because he'd had such a tough life before I met him and then not coming inside for a long time. 
that I felt he just I just wanted him with me the whole time. So we had a private cremation and uh, we got his ashes back a couple of weeks later and they're in a nice little pattern. Yeah. So yeah. As a vet, I actually feel very lucky to have the option of euthanasia. It means that when necessary, I and the owner have the power to stop their pet from suffering. Your vet will support you to measure your pet's quality of life and well-being. You can ask your vet any questions you have before the appointment. Bereavement support is available for anybody suffering after the loss of a pet, 